Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So today, as I move my cat away, um, today I want to talk about the Melt Cosmetics new Radioactive Collection. Okay, <clears throat> so the new Radioactive Collection just came out, uh, I want to say last week. Uh, I want to say I got it on a Sunday and then I received it in the mail yesterday. So it actually had a really quick turnaround, so I'm really happy about that. I have a lot of their little circle palettes, but I do not have the Radioactive one because it always seemed to be... Um, sold out but this palette was a way to I guess give you radioactive and give you colorful colors in a palette instead of the I think they're moving away from the stackers maybe and into the palettes because they've had so many palettes come out which I really enjoy the palettes I think they're just easier to use and to travel with and I don't worry about them breaking like I do like my blueprint one but anyway so when we get this package, it's awesome. It has it's great packaging. You open it up, we see the ad campaign with the models. We see a giant blown up version of the colors, which I actually think this doesn't even do it justice. And more of the ads. Push down that paper and then we open it up to see all of these goodies. We've got two neon blushes I'll show you neon highlighter blushes the radioactive palette right here and two liquid lipsticks now the reason I got this whole thing is because if I just got the eyeshadow palette and one blush then it's a lot but if I got say I like I liked both blushes because you can the way the colors are arranged in the blush um, compact you can use all of them or you can use one out of three so I really thought that that was cute and I wanted to get both I won't lie I wanted to get both blushes and the, the eyeshadow but if you get them in the bundle technically you're getting the two lipsticks for free liquid lips and so I I saw a deal so I took it even though it's like a little deal but it's a deal so I really am debating on whether to keep this packaging or not because it's so cool, but it's gigantic. I mean, where am I going to put this? And then, then I'm going to see it and be like, oh, I should grab that. I don't know. I don't know. But I think the right now the beauty community, or not beauty community, but like the brands are all really starting to come out with lots of pops of color and brightness and seeing who can bring you the most color. But I really do think this is like really nice. Uh, I used this this morning for my eyeshadow so let's just like go into it. Um, so this is the palette right here just radioactive cute little box. On the back it has the ingredients so for so much and so forth. Pressed pigment palette you open it up oh it's got this awesome texture to it. Then you have these colors so you have eight colors and they're all super pretty. I use Xenon, which I believe is from the the original palette. Um, I used it on my lid, and then I used Neon, the yellow, um, above it. I didn't go super crazy, and I used Meltdown right here underneath on my lash line, and a Xeon a little more, like to fan it out a little bit. So um, I can tell you that this is really consistent with their formula. It has a little bit of kick up. When I say a little bit, I mean kind of a decent amount of kick up not I would say Anastasia has the most this one is middle and then let's say you know Tarte still has a little bit but it's there so it does have a little bit of kick up it blends nicely I would suggest using a primer if you want to go really really bold um, I didn't use any primer or anything and I felt like it was a little bit harder to coax into blending or to really get like a bam pop of color. I mean, I'm sure if I use my concealer in white to, to do it, or if I used a um, more neutral base, um, and you know, you know, you know the steps, then I could get it to be really, really bright and poppy. So let's just, I'm gonna swatch these for you. I'm just gonna go down the row. They're matte and. Yeah, they're all matte. Some have a slight bit of shimmer in them, but for the most part, they're matte. So I'm going to go down the row. I'll say the names. I'll put them on. I'll swatch them, and then we'll get into the rest of the, 
the things. So radioactive is this nice pink. I'm just going to smush it. Now it is, it has a bit of a sheen to it. So I'd say it's kind of leaning towards the satin. Next is radon, which is bright orange. Right here. Neon. See the neon, it was a little patchy for me. But when you build it up, it works really well. So these are all highly buildable. See got how they got brighter when I went in with a second swatch. Xenon green, bright lime green. And this one leans more of a matte to a matte. Then the four, the next four get a little bit darker. Uh, arsenic is this beautiful blue, green, teal shade. Followed by Meltdown, which they got me with Meltdown is, oh, look at that. And that's the best by far. It is beautiful. Then we have Hazmat, which is a purple. And Uranium, which is a lighter purple, like a lavender. So those are all of the colors swatch. It's a beautiful rainbow array of colors and bright pops of color. And I really, really like that. That's why I invested in this palette. And I will continue to use it because I've, I've, I like color. Obviously, I like color. So moving on, so we don't take up too much time. We have a radioactive blush light in Gamma Ray. Let me open this up. Now it has three shades. It's got a white, um, a light orange, and like a red. Now you can use them separately. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's beautiful. That one's a little lighter, could be more, could be deeper. This is the white one. Ow! Ow. But buildable. Those are all three of them separated. And then you can put them, swoosh them all together and see what you get, which is just a shimmery blush that has some real dimension to it. There we go. I'll put all the prices and everything, all the details on the description box. Ultraviolet, and I am wearing that on my cheeks as kind of like a bam cheek day. I went ham. Now, this one is more purples, as you see. I blew off a little bit of dust. I blew off a little bit of dust because there's a little bit of kick up from me using it this morning. But it's got two purples and a pink. And this is different than this pink because it's way more shimmer, a little more lighter bubblegum pink. Here's your purple, which is lavender, and this darker purple means a little less shimmery more deep so that is what you get on the second one and when you swoosh them together the same thing you see the dark purple moving to light purple and you see the shimmer all come together and that is what i'm wearing on my cheeks no highlighter just swished it around and that one was called ultraviolet again oh, oh. I'm gonna break it. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It fell out one side and out into the other. So, oops. Then, accompanied by that, I wish they were lipsticks, lipsticks, and not um, liquid lipsticks. But we have the radioactive liquid lipsticks in two colors. Okay, so we have Super Heat, which is this bright neon pink. I'll put it right here. It's a little watery, but like it goes on the lips really well, and then you let it dry a little, and if you need to, you can add a little more. And then this one is Atomic, which is this bright purple. They have a, a different kind of sweet smell. It's kind of a little bit chemically, but a little bit sweet. But yeah, that 
is what you get right there. So overall, I'm excited mostly about, well, I'm really excited about the eyeshadow palette. I'm super excited about the blushes because I just think that they're just like so much fun. And I'm like, man, why don't I just go hardcore like cheeks and like add some color to my really, really washed out face right now. But it's cool. I like that I got the liquid lipsticks technically at, um, for free because if you had it all up, the numbers make it sense. Um, not, I wish they were liquid, they were lip lips. Um, I do have some of their old -er lips, the matte matte, and they're kind of, kind of dying on me. So I would like that reformula with the old colors, because that would be amazing. But, anyway, I think that is it. So far, I give this a thumbs up, because I do, I am a fan of Melt, and they are a nice indie brand and I do like what the things they put out and the message that they send forth there. um and it's really cool um yeah so thumbs up for me um if you want any looks please let me know and I'll try to make something crazy wild with this um if not I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful and informative but today is Friday the 13th so happy Friday the 13th and it's a full moon, so please stay safe, be careful. Shit, maybe I'll hurry up and post this today. I don't know. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day. Subscribe, like, send to all your friends and family, and tell me what you like. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, night, everything. Thank you.